in the 1920s and early 30s, up until 1937, my father and his three brothers used to milk cows in Osmond Park by hand and deliver the milk around Perth straight from the cow with a horse and cart. And in 1937, he drove his cows, him and one of his brothers, drove their dairy herd to Wagerup, which is just down the road from where we are now, where the actual Alcoa refinery is. And they started a little dairy farm there milking cows, originally by hand and then with a milking machine driven by a diesel motor. And they used to send the milk to Perth by train and wrap a, a wet bag around the milk drums to keep it cool. Well, I, I've, been, I've been on the farm. I used to feed calves before I was old enough to go to school. I've been milking cows since I was about four, about 60 years. Dairy farming is really, it's, it's a 85, 90 hour a week job, seven days a week. And now it's got down to family farms. There's only a few left. Well, it, it's got to be done by family members and a family member's got to be there seven days a week. We've been doing it so long, we really don't know anything else. And we've got an enormous amount of capital involved, enormous amount. A few dairy farmers in Western Australia that are left are the ones that know how to do it and want to do it, otherwise they would have given it away. Under financial pressure and physical pressure over the last 10 years, they would have given it away. And there's thousands of heifers been sold, which is our future herds, been sold to Asia over the last 15 years, but particularly in the last three years, because of the fact that farmers have sold these heifers for cash flow. And that's our future. Our heifers are our future, and if you've got to sell them to pay your bills, well, it's a no-win situation. And eventually, Unless something happens very, very quickly, and I mean very, very quickly, there won't be enough white milk in Western Australia to supply our domestic market. If we're relying on imported milk, which unless things turn, do a turnabout, a big percentage of milk and products will have to be imported from the eastern states, well, it'll be of a lot inferior quality of what it is today and possibly at a great high, lot higher price because the cost of cutting it across the border is astronomical. And milk was imported into West Australia last year by one processor, they run out, and apparently a lot of it went off. A lot of it was unsaleable when it got here, which is ridiculous. The dairy industry in its present stage in West Australia, the price we're getting, because of our input costs, and costs are going up at such a rapid rate, is an unsustainable price. And this imported milk is eating into our profit. processors could pay us a fair price, which they're in, endeavouring to do, we wouldn't sell our female heifers. Or we'd have all the milk could be produced in Western Australia that the market would ever dream of wanting. West Australian milk is the highest standard in Australia and possibly the highest standard in the world. I've recently been on a, a quick trip to Europe and the UK and our milk, well, our milk would be grade, is, is that far above theirs in standard. Their grade one milk is equivalent to our grade three and we're paid on, on quality here and very, very little milk gets to the market below grade one or two which is extremely high standard milk. Browns are trying to, well, improve our price, but the only way they can do it is if they make more sales. And the only way they can make more sales is if they don't buy imported milk or imported products. It's as simple as that. They can only pay us what they can get out of the marketplace. They can't pay us what they haven't got. If I was to tell those mums in Perth, the quality of milk and the quality of yoghurt that's put on the shelf by WA companies, Browns, is far superior to the imported stuff from the Eastern States. And I'd urge them to please buy WA milk to keep us in business. Otherwise, the time is very close where there won't be a WA dairy industry. It's as simple as that, because the farmers are getting older, the cows are getting older, and the young people aren't coming back because of the fact there's no profit in it. 
and that's the message that they've got to get. Patronise the WA product and you'll have a quality product on the shelf for many years to come. Thank you. It is extremely frustrating because the people in Perth, the consumers, don't understand, never been told.